If you're enchanted by the Adriatic Sea, you definitely want to consider adding Porta Rose and Peron Slovenia to your list. They are some of Europe's hidden gems and best kept secrets. Both Porta Rose and Peron are beautiful, romantic waterfront towns located in the Istria Peninsula at the most southern point of the country and have been sought after vacation spots since the early 20th century. You should definitely visit both. They are both amazing in their own way, but which one should you stay in? Both locations are just a few minutes away from one another. And in this video, I'm going to go through what each offers as well as what we did so that you can make a great choice for yourself as far as where you should stay and what to see and eat. Though Peron gets busy at the height of summer, it is still the type of town where you can have chance encounters with locals. It has a much calmer feel than its counterpart, as well as it offers an old historic stay, colorful buildings, amazing restaurants with fresh seafood, pedestrian only walkways, and has a medieval wall up its steep hill. You can definitely see in its buildings and taste in its food, its Venetian influence. It's only a 30 minute walk or a quick taxi ride to the slightly larger town of Porta Rose that lies east of Peron. And there's a scenic shore path that runs between the two towns, so it can be a nice walk. Parking is very limited, so you should definitely consider this if you have a vehicle. Most people will have vehicles, unless you come on a bus or a ferry, and the closest train station is in Koper, Slovenia. The town is pedestrian only, and most accommodations are on the smaller side, as well as you will have to walk up the steep, narrow cobblestone streets with your bags. So something to definitely think about. Porta Rose has a very different feel than Peron. It's modern, more commercial, with some historic touches, but feels like a young, fun in the sun town. It specializes in larger resorts, spa treatments, thanks to the unique mud and salt found in the area, great restaurants, nightlife, and beach life activities. It offers a promenade on the coast that walks you around all of its seaside temptations. Both Peron and Porta Rose have a good selection of accommodations, but are definitely polar opposites. I recommend staying in Peron if you want to have quaint cobblestone streets right outside your door, as Porta Rose is, as I said, a more modern city. In Peron, locals rent out private accommodations as well as there are hostels, but the prices are higher than typical. For more modern accommodations, I recommend staying in Porta Rose because it's an easy walk or taxi ride to visit Peron. We stayed at the luxurious five-star Kempinski Palace Porta Rose, built during the time of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The resort pairs trendy modern French decor with classic architecture. This hotel feels like a palace. With incredible waterfront views, off of its rooms with full balconies. And offers one of the best breakfast buffets that I've ever had. This hotel was one of my most favorite stays ever. And I highly, highly recommend it. Porta 
Tacos in Peran offer more than just a leisurely day at the beach. Whether it's relaxing in Puerto Rose at a salt spa and health service, a walk down their promenade, piers and marinas, or eating at one of their amazing restaurants. We tried so many restaurants that it's impossible to list all, but they are inexpensive and make sure that you try the fresh seafood, pizzas, pastas, and they offer multiple dishes with their local truffles, olive oil, and wines. The food is a culinary heaven. In Peran, fall in love with its historic cobblestone streets. Walk up the hill to medieval walls and city gates. Visit the Cathedral of St. George, built in Baroque style in the early 17th century on the site of an earlier church from 1344. See the baptistry and then climb the 147 stairs of the bell tower, built in 1609, for amazing views of the town and its waterfront. Once finished, come back down and get your Instagram pic in the old city center of Tartini Square, named after the famous violinist Giuseppe Tartini. This square is the heart of its old town. The 19th century town hall has a stone lion, a symbol of the former Republic of Venice, and is surrounded by colorful buildings, a must-try gelato shop, and street vendors. When you're finished, a visit to Peran's waterfront is a must. Whether it's for sunning, taking a dip, or strolling the colorful path filled with bars and restaurants. It's a must. At the point of the peninsula, you'll find the historical Punta Lighthouse and attach the round 13th century serrated tower of the Church of St. Clement. When eating in Peron specifically, it's best to make a reservation because even going early, restaurants are packed and unavailable. Back in Puerto Rose, in the evening, there are also several nightclubs, three all-night casinos, so plenty to do after dark. But first, whether you're in Peron or Puerto Rose, make sure that you take in some of the most beautiful sunsets that you've ever seen. Both these towns are must visits, so you can decide where to stay, but both Peron and Puerto Rose, Slovenia need to be on your vacation list. If you've been to Peron or Puerto Rose, I'd love to hear about your experience. See you next time.